Why you always gotta get that? I mean, it just, it, it's just natural. Why you? Oh my goodness. You can't help it. Uh-uh. Once a ratchet, always a ratchet. Can't take it out the hood. I'm not putting the camera on your butt, so you... Why not? Do it for me. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, see, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have known. Now you're looking crazy. Crazy? Or just perfect? <laughs> they can't, they're not gonna see it. <laughs> well, some of this stuff can be just for me. My people can see it. Stephanie and I got invited to Jamaica to participate um, in the Rujan Foundation. It's a, it's a program that is held by King Batch and his family. It's a charity, it's an organization that gives scholarships to underprivileged children in the Caribbean. And it's also a sports and entertainment camp so these children are able to learn from professionals in different industries, sports, entertainment, and they have a football section, and that's why I'm coming. Hey, whenever you're ready. I'm ready now. Ready? Uh, my name is Roger Wright. Uh, my name, my name, and I'm in grade 10. My favorite part today was boxing with Zuli. He's a real tough boxer, but he enjoyed it. Um, they came and brought, brought much joy to the school, and we really appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram at roger.w. So when we got there, they put us straight to work. I mean, straight to work. We had to go put our bags up into the hotel room, put our shirt on, come right downstairs, and we got straight to work. So the actual first day, the workshops, it was an acting workshop, a music workshop, um, a singing workshop, I believe. But we didn't have any football stuff today, so I was really just enjoying the process and seeing all these children for the first time and their smiling faces. I was helping out with the music workshop and Dexter Darden, who is a, another uh, superstar, he was running it. And they were playing this game, they had this game called Zip Zap Zap, I believe, and it got crazy. Step, 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 step. Give me that zap, give me that zip, give me that zap. Step to him, let him know it's you. Let him know who you're coming for. Ready? Zip. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zip. 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 No, 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 sorry. You should have zapped him. Zip. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zip. Zap. 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 Zip. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zap. Zip. Zap, 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 We were out, we were hanging out with the kids. They were teaching us dances. They were teaching us these, these Jamaican style dances, and we were learning them. And it was just a, it was just a great start to the trip. You know, from that moment on, we knew we were gonna have a good time.
My name is Mikel Appleby. I'm in grade nine. I think he's on college. Let's see. What? I, what I like the most about today is that like I got to see like, people from different different schools and I got to socialize with them that I wouldn't normally do because I wouldn't normally like, see them in like the day. So really after that I got to meet new people and learn a, a sport that I've never really tried before officially. That's what I like about today. That's basically. We had a little bit of time to explore, not a lot, so Jamaica in the moment, at the moment, is dangerous for whatever reason. Um, there's been a lot of killings, a lot of robberies, and so there's actually a state of emergency happening now um, where you actually can be stopped on the road, you know, just to check uh, where you're going, who you're with, and all that. And so we didn't go out a whole lot, but one of the best things that we did and one thing that I was so excited for when I saw on the itinerary was to visit the Bob Marley Museum in Kingston. Um, they didn't allow us to take photos and so I got I didn't get a whole lot of footage of it but it was just incredible you know if you know me you know how much I'm inspired by Bob Marley by his music how I consider him to be one of my spiritual guides and so just to be in his studio, be in his house, you could really feel his spirit. And it was just, it was just incredible, incredible, incredible. You made a lot of money out of your music? Money. I mean, what is, how much is, how much is a lot of money to you? Yeah, that's a good question. Have, have you made, say, millions of dollars? No. Are you a rich man? What do you mean rich? What do you mean? You have a lot of possessions? A lot of money in the bank. Position make you rich. I know I don't have that type of richness. My richness is life forever. So I finally got put to work the next day. We went to Kingston College and there were some older kids and that's the day when we had the football camp, when we had the basketball camp, boxing, baseball, cricket, acting, dancing. It was just a whole nine. You know, I was truly humbled. Being involved in the NFL, I've been to a lot of football camps here in America. I've been to a lot of different football combines, different things like that. And to see how much fun these kids were having with very little. They all were wearing khakis. A lot of them didn't have shoes. None of them had cleats. Some guys, some kids were running in their socks. Some kids were running barefoot ripping up holes in their khakis, ripping up holes in their socks, but enjoying every second of it. Loving it. Coachable, calling you sir, saying yes ma'am, yes sir. I mean, it was a really, really refreshing thing to see. Children these days all over the world ain't bad. <laughs> there we go. We had a bunch of different kids. We, we had them competing, um, and then at the end, we had to pick an MVP, so we gave them trophies at the end. And it was just really fun. At one point, one of the children grabbed my camera and started recording me, and started recording his friends and just making jokes. <laughs> Hold on, iPhone, iPhone, you can do it all. Like, he's made the pictures. I have a question. What's up? Um, I watch a lot of football. You, you, mean, you mean this football? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I play FIFA. I play so, FIFA. Uh, you watch the international side? My international side? Uh, I like Brazil. Brazil? I like, I like Argentina. Argentina. Yeah. I, like, I like Argentina too. That's the best side of the club. Yo, 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 
My name is Jaram Johnson. I attend Kingston College. I'm in ninth grade. I'm 15. I enjoyed today at the Rajan, Rajan Fest Foundation Sports Camp. I enjoyed playing NFL because I've always wanted to try it. And I've always watched every match for the Baltimore Ravens or the Super Bowl. I always wanted to try it, but never got the chance. This year will be my first time going to America, so I want to try it. So I made sure to learn today. Time we got to really, really relax though. We were at an all inclusive resort, so at one point we had to take a road trip to Montego Bay where we were staying at this all inclusive resort, the Barrel Star. Shout out to Barrel Star. They took care of us. I mean, we were living like, like kings and queens. All you can eat, all you can drink. I mean, it was just really fun. Are you enjoying yourself, McQueen? Um, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> sure am. So the week ended with a banquet, and this banquet was the opportunity for the newly enrolled um, scholarships to be rewarded to I think five or six children who have outstanding grades that are top of their class and it was fun because you got a chance to see from 13 years back past recipients some of them were helping the whole time and you just see how this camp really changes people's lives how this foundation really changes people's lives and you know i had to hold back tears in that banquet hearing some of these children um, get so much money for their accomplishments and enough to allow them to continue their education and to be leaders in society and it was it was so incredible it was so incredible I'd like to call up Malik Alexander. Malik has a cake to go to PA 455 and received 17 CSC in the Cape ones, which is amazing. He's brilliant. He's done it. If we can all stand and give him a round of applause, he's received 450,000. And, you know, that was why we were there. That was the most important thing, and that's what kept everything going. And so it's something that I want to continue to go to as, as, as many times as I can, as many times as I'm able. I'll be there supporting Rujan Nation, the Rujan Foundation, the Bachelor family, and I'll be back. You better believe that. I will be back. My name is Mara Lindo. I attend Kingston College. I am in seventh grade. I also play cricket at Kingston College. The Rujan Foundation is a very good foundation. You can learn how to play many different sports. They can help you in also how to understand the sport and have a passion for it. If I was to play any sports like in any foreign country, the Rujan Foundation will help me because the, the variety of um, activities that they had today, they had boxing, 
basketball, they had football, they had many different things, dancing, they had a lot of things. You can have a you can you can choose a career from this. So I just want to thank the Rujan Foundation. Mm-hmm. 